Hello, my name is Jack Bentz, and for the past year, I've been part of the hit stage show, Shitface Shakespeare. Today, I'm going to tell you the complete story of Shakespeare's classic play... A Midsummer Night's Dream in two and a half minutes. But first, I'm going to spend the next two and a half hours drinking... Lovely. Takes place, in, takes place in Athens, but it's not around the time of the Olympics. It's kind of irrelevant with regards to that. Okay, so you got your four lovers, right? Uh, Demetrius, Elena, Lysander, and Sheila. So Helen and Demetrius, they want to be together. It's a lot of f***ing social politics knocking about in the middle hundreds. So basically what they do, they fuck off to the forest for a bit. And there's, there's lots of like fairies and that knocking about. One of them's is, he's a tasty geezer, he's called, um, he's called Puck. Yeah, and he's got his boss called Megatron. Go and put some dust in their eyes, bruv. So what he does, he sits him and as they get a bit close, he gives it a bit of that, you know what I mean? He starts doing that and he basically starts like whacking it right in the face of some of them. I used to think you were proper fit. But now, I don't think you're the right bird for me. In the other part of the forest, they're out, they're rehearsing a little play. Puck sees someone, he, he's giving it the big one, to be honest. Puck sees someone, like, knocking about in the forest. <sighs> Trying to lord it, thinks he's going to get bafted, that sort of thing. He proper f***ing donkeys him right off, it's hilarious. <laughs> and when it does happen, like, everyone else is like, f***ing hell, man, that's method acting, that is, that's proper. So Susan, wait. Susan wakes up and she sees Bottom, who's uh, the donkey fella, and she goes... You've got a solid bone structure, and you're not what I normally go for, but you're hung like a wildebeest, and that is lovely. Some would say hung like a donkey, but we're, this isn't a course production, so we'll let that slide. For the lovers, they ain't, they ain't having it. They don't like it at all. Um, proper stuff's going off, going at each other's throats. The course of love never runs smoothly. Puck goes, no, no, well, I've had enough of this shit. Alright, so Puck stops it. Get on the f***ing deck. Get on the f***ing deck. So he does that. And I'm going to kick out a load of fog. So a load of fog starts generating all over again. And then um, people start going to sleep. Because, you know, it's an age old story. People don't like fog. It makes them go to sleep. And then everyone, luckily, looks around and realises the error of their ways. And they goes, you know what? F this fog has make, made us see we've been unreasonable. It'll be all right. You know what, because we're people, we're just organisms, we're just, we're just pieces of like subatomic particles flying about together on, on, on the breeze of a wind. And we can sit in these lovely ruffled leather chairs <laughs> and we can depict what's going on in these silly little plays that I've written. But you know what, it'll be okay. Because at the end of the day, we're all friends. Okay, and that was the story of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Remember, you can like, subscribe, or comment below. And check out our website to find out where Shitface Shakespeare is performing near you. Uh, and remember to always... Steady. Remember to always enjoy a Shakespeare responsibly.